I've been achieving $1,000 in sales every single day. That translates roughly to $300,000 a year if you take out vacation time and weekends. So I'm gonna go through the chart for the first 15 days of the year and show you guys the equipment I have that allows me to do this in my garage. So here's the board, you can't really read it, so I made an Excel sheet. So as you can see, we have six POs and here are the total sale values that we've achieved and the due dates that we've done them within. So the sale value translates to $11,304.73 in total. Here are the cost of goods. $1,055.61 is the total that we spent to do the job before overhead hits. So net revenue is sale value minus cost of goods. So this is what's left over after the job is complete. So as you can see, these are the three brackets that we've achieved in producing parts for the first 15 days. I wanted to bring this up really quick. We started a private community. The link is in the description below. We're showing functional sales systems to grow your machine shop from the ground up in your garage. Everything you need to know to get over $100,000 in sales in under 12 months. We have a classroom, a calendar, a members list, and a leaderboard. The leaderboard is going to be who is growing the most sales in their machine shop. The community is where we can all discuss different things. I also have a fully developed machine shop sales funnel, completely done, ready for you guys to study and learn how to drive work to your machine shop to start making money today. Click the link below if you want to join the community. All right, so I want to discuss what I have in the shop. First, we're using Fusion 360 to CNC program. I have a multi-port streamer that I hook up to my computer so I can display my emails and my partner network job board on the screen above. So the only machine that I have right now is a Sile X7 LNC CNC machine with a 12 position tool changer. And it only uses BT30 tools. So it's quite a small machine. As you can see, the tool holder is pretty small. It uses an LNC style controller. The LNC style controller has everything that I need to perform, positional displays, program selection, offset menus to set up the machine. Pretty much has everything you need to run parts. So the chip management is kind of crappy. I'm going to push this toolbox out of the way really quick. So you can see I have a chip pan. You have to scoop the chips out with a shovel. Other than that, the machine is extremely accurate. That's just the one downfall that it has. Here's the air dryer and pressure regulator and automatic lubrication system. So this is my Dewall surface grinder I got for $70 at an auction. The thing runs amazing. This is my vertical bandsaw. I got it from Harbor Freight. It's okay. The belt slips every now and then with this V-belt system. You have to manually change the belt diameters to change the speed. This is my heat treat oven. I have a niche where I machine and then heat treat my components for through hardening and all the other processes that you would need to do on the furnace. Here's the Baldor buffing wheel. This thing is amazing. Uh, helps me polish and helps me deburr my parts so I don't have to use a file. I love this thing. I only paid $15 for it, so that's awesome. Oh, and the, and the 20 ton press. It helps with press fit pins, assemblies, and just general things like straightening out parts that boat after machining. Next, we have the air compressor. This thing's great. It has enough CFM to run the machine and the air hoses at the same time. So let's go through oils. We have two types of oils for the CNC mill that we use. One is the lubrication oil that goes into the automatic lubrication system in the back of the machine here. The machine alarms out when it's low. Next is Extreme Cut 251C. This is the cutting fluid additive for the water inside of the machine. So we run this around 4 to 12%, depending upon what alloy we're cutting. So let's talk about the fluids for the heat treat oven. We have Quench All Quench Oil, and we have Quench Fast Quenching Oil, and Parks 50 Quenching Oil. The reason that there's three different oils is because they cool down parts at different rates, translating to different surface hardnesses on different materials. Is it on? You have to make sure that it's recording through this. Hello, it is. All right, everybody. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, but that is the environment that I operate inside of that is allowing me to approach $300,000 in sales this year out of my machine shop. The next couple of videos, I'm going to go through what the operating environment inside of the CNC machine looks like because I use specific end mills and specific machining approaches to achieve certain results certain high level tolerances and just quality parts to ship to my customers. Then we're gonna go through some of the processes that I use to find customers online, how to drive traffic and stuff like that. So until I see you guys again, take care.